we've created a hole in this ozone layer. So um, those rays that we are supposed to be protected from actually make it through the ozone layer um, and make it um, to us. So um, our planet is warmer because more sun is getting into our app, like getting to us. Just like witches, whiskey, and women, there is good ozone and there is bad ozone. The charge on ozone molecules are symmetrical in some directions, but asymmetrical in other directions. That means that the charge is polar, that is, they are subject to dipolar moment. That means ozone molecules are greenhouse gases. Ozone in the stratosphere is good because it protects life on Earth from deadly and damaging ultraviolet radiation. Somewhat closer to Earth, ozone is a bad thing because it acts as a greenhouse gas and it retains heat that would otherwise be radiated back into space. Closer still to mortals, ozone is a good thing because it binds with some pollutants and destroys them. Down here at the surface of the Earth, where there's witches, whiskey, and women, ozone is a very bad thing because it is extremely hazardous to human health. Since ozone is a greenhouse gas, the thinning of the ozone layer in the stratosphere has resulted in a very slight cooling effect. That is about one-tenth of a watt per square meter. Human activities, mostly in our cities, produces ozone and at the ground level. Since ozone is a greenhouse gas as well as a dangerous pollutant, the positive forcing for human-produced ozone is approximately a quarter of a watt per square meter. The cooling effect of the thinning of ozone in the stratosphere is therefore overwhelmed by the warming effect of ozone at ground level, as well as carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases that humans have released into Earth's atmosphere. As if all of this was not amusing enough, there is evidence to show that the more energetic climate due to human activities is acting to destroy stratospheric ozone itself. That is... Natural chlorine is binding with human-released sulfites and human-released carbon and being carried into the stratosphere where ozone is being destroyed. As was pointed out by Laura Gaumont in her video, as well as, of course, a hell of a lot of scientists out there, the decrease of ozone in the stratosphere has caused and is causing a very sharp increase in the incident of skin cancer, also an increase in glaucoma and other diseases. This caused at least one atmospheric scientist to state that the decrease in ozone in the stratosphere is a greater risk to, to humanity than climate change itself.